तो हेलो बच्चों वी आर बैक वंस अगेन विद दिस एक्सरसाइज फाइव ऑफ सर्कल चैप्टर सो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस एक्सरसाइज फाइव ऑफ सर्कल्स ओके सो लेट्स टेक द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज सी इफ द टेंजेंट एट पी ऑन द सर्कल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई इक्वल टू टू मीट्स द स्ट्रेट लाइन 5x minus 2y plus 6 equal to 0 at a point Q on the y-axis. So then the length of PQ. Okay. So let me draw circle. What is given there? So here one circle is there whose equation is known to us. Uh, now one tangent at point P. so i am drawing one tangent at point p to this circle and that is meeting the straight line 5x minus 2y plus 6 so one straight line is there i don't know whether that straight line will intersect the circle or not that is uh, not important for me also and i am drawing one uh, this uh, y axis also right so this is the uh, sketch as per question so uh, this is our y axis let me reduce the thickness so this is basically our y axis this green line okay mm -hmm. and what else this is our line 5x minus 2y This line is five x minus two y plus six equal to zero, and uh, this is point P where we have drawn one tangent. That tangent is meeting this straight line on the y-axis, right? This is what it is given, and this is uh, meeting at uh, this point is basically Q, okay? And this uh, circle equation is given as x square plus y square uh, plus six x. Plus six y minus two equal to zero, right? This much information uh, we are given in the question. Now, the question is asking to find the length of PQ. We have to find PQ, length of PQ, right? This is what we need to find. So, uh, okay, let's. Uh, extract all the information from this uh, equation of circle so the center of this circle is uh, minus 3 comma minus 3 uh, the radius of this circle will be uh, 9 plus 9 minus of 2 minus of minus 2 that will be plus 2 that means uh, under root 20 right g square plus f square minus of c so under root 20 Under root twenty means four into five, so two root five. So radius of this circle is two root five, and center is minus three comma minus three. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, we need to find the length PQ. Okay, can we uh, identify the coordinates of point Q? If you see uh, the coordinates of point Q, one thing is sure that uh, since this is a uh, Lying on the x y axis, sorry. Since it is lying on the y axis, so x coordinate will be zero, right? Now, how to find the y coordinate? Put uh, x equal to zero in this equation. So, if you put x equal to zero in this equation, <clears throat> sorry. So, put x equal to zero in this equation. We are having uh, minus two y is equal to minus six. Or we can say y equal to three. Okay, so the coordinates of Q will be zero comma three. Now, Q is a point outside the circle. Q is a point outside a circle, and uh, it is touching the circle at point P. Okay, so PQ. If you uh, say me to find the length of PQ, PQ is nothing but under root s one. Where s one means power of point Q, right? Power of point Q 
under root is will be equal to length of tangent that is pq okay so uh, what will be s1 s1 will be uh, x square plus y square plus 6x six plus 6y minus 2 put x equal to 0 and y equal to 3. So uh, like uh, means we have to put the coordinates of q in this equation and we will uh, we will get this s1. So if you see the x will be 0 on this so 0 plus y3 y square will be 9 plus 0 plus uh, 6 into 3 that is uh, 6 into 3 no that will be 18 minus 2 so 27 minus 2 that is 25 so if you see this length of pq length of pq uh, will be equal to or this is the length of tangent only this will be equal to under root s1 means under root 25 that will be equal to 5 minutes okay so option c is correct option c is correct for this question let's take the next question question number <coughs> 2 sorry it is saying if the circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 this is the uh, general uh, equation is given here is touched by y equal to x at p okay such that op is equal to 6 root 2 where o is the origin then the value of c so one circle is here sorry this is our circle okay and it is given it is touched by the line y equal to x so uh, let me draw a coordinate axis and let me draw this y equal to x line so it is touched by line y equal to x right it is not cutting it is touching the line y equal to x so if you see y equal to x will be somewhere okay then uh, we could have omitted this one coordinate x is okay let me uh, draw it once again let me draw it separately so uh, this is suppose this is our line y equal to x okay and it is touching this circle it is touching this circle so suppose this is our circle and this is y y equal to x is touching this circle such that op at p okay so this is the uh, line y equal to x sorry this is the line y equal to x this is our circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy uh, plus c equal to 0 and uh, this line is touching this circle at point p right and uh, one distance is there op is given as 6 root 2 so this suppose uh, i am taking this as o whose uh, coordinates are 0 comma 0 so this op is given as 6 root 2 op is given as 6 root 2 so what is op basically op is nothing but the length of tangent and uh, we get a length of tangent as under root s1 so this under root s1 uh, means power of uh, point point power of point under root right so power of which point power of this origin under root of that will give us the length of op that is equal to 6 under root 2 now put the value 0, 0 in the equation. We get 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus C under root that will be equal to 6 root 2. So under root C is equal to 6 root 2 
So squaring this, we get C, C is equal to 36 into 2, that is nothing but 70, right? So this will be our answer. The value of C will be 72, basically. Okay. Now let's take the next question, question number three. The god of contact of tangents from a point P to a circle passes through Q. If L1 and L2 are the lengths of the tangents from P and Q to the circle, then P Q is equal to. Okay, let's try to uh, visualize it by drawing a sketch. So this is our circle. The chord of contact from a point P. Okay. Suppose this is our point P from where we are uh, drawing the tangents. So this is our pair of tangents from point P and uh, this is our chord of contact. Right? This is our chord of contact which is passing through Q which is passing through Q. And if L1 and L2 are the lengths of tangents from P and Q to a circle. Okay. So we have to uh, draw tangents from Q also. Right. So uh, let me draw the tangents from Q. Suppose this is one tangent and this is another tangent. Okay. So, this is our point P, basically, this is our point P, and uh, this is our point Q, okay? So, and this is our point of, con chord of contact, suppose this is AB. <clears throat> Passes through Q. If L1 and L2 are the length of tensions, so this PA, this PA is equal to uh, L1. Right, this PA is equal to L1, and uh, this Q, let me name it as CD. Let me take it as a point C and this as point D, where these uh, tangents are touching the circle. So, PA is given to be L1, and uh, this QC is given to be L2. Right, so this is what it is given. And we need to find the length of PQ. Then PQ we need to find this length PQ. PQ we need to find. This is not known to us. So if you say, uh, let's assume the coordinates of P is x1 comma y1, and the coordinates of Q is x2 comma y2, right? <clears throat> so what will be uh, P A basically P A will be equal to under root S1 means power of point power of point P and taking under root of uh, that will give me the length P A. So this will be equal to uh, okay let's me uh, first we have to assume the equation of circle. So uh, let me assume this circle as x square let the equation of circle as x square plus y square is equal to a square. Okay. We are assuming this circle. So uh, this S1 under root S1 will be under root of x1 square plus uh, y1 square minus of a square. For power of points, we put the coordinates in the equation of the circle itself. So what th this is what we have done here. And what will be our QC? This will be uh, under root S power of p I am telling and this is I am telling as power of q. Okay. That will be nothing but x2 square plus y2 square minus of a square. Okay. And uh, what will be pq? If you see the pq, pq is nothing but pq is nothing but distance between uh, we can write it, uh, the distance between uh, these two points. So this is nothing but x1 minus x2 whole square, okay, plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Okay, so uh, 
let's open it. It will become x1 is square plus x2 is square plus y1 is square plus y2 is square and minus 2 x1 x2 from here and minus 2 y1 y2, right? Whole thing will be under root. Okay, one more uh, thing is given here. If you observe, let me abbreviate this. So, if you see, this is the equation of AB, like equation of chord of contact we can write. Equation of chord of contact. How we used to write the equation of chord of contact? We used to write it as T equal to 0. Now, uh, T means x, x1 plus y, y1. Uh, minus a square is equal to 0. So, x1 and y1. I am taking the coordinates of p. Like from p, I have drawn a pair of tangents, okay, that uh, uh, touches the circle at a and b. So, this equation of a, b, the equation of the uh, chord of contact is given by t equal to 0, where t is nothing but we uh, replace the equation uh, of circle means we in the equation of circle we replace x square by x x1 y square by y y1 so this is what we have done and uh, so this is our equation of ab right this is nothing but equation of equation of ab this is our equation of ab but this is passing through q also so uh, this must satisfy uh, q it must satisfy Q. So this will be uh, in place of X, we can write X2. In place of Y, we can write Y2. So this will be X2 into X1 plus Y2 into Y1 minus A square is equal to 0. Okay. So we will use this information here. How? <coughs> if you see, this will become X1 square plus X2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square taking two common minus two common we, we, we are having x1 x2 plus y1 y2 right so in place of this x1 x2 and y1 y2 what i will do i will write it as minus of a square i will write it as minus of a square right sorry a square not minus of because after putting to the right side, it will become a plus a square only. So here we get this x1 square plus y1 square and minus 2a square. I will uh, split it into minus of a square. Okay. And plus this will be y1 square. Uh, y1 is already we have to you know. This will be y2 square and x2 square this x2 square plus y2 square and minus of a square. Okay. So this is nothing but what is x1 square plus y1 square minus a square. This is equal to L1 square. Okay. So uh, from here you can see this is L1 and this is L2. So squaring this we are having this L1 square plus L2 square. Okay. So this will be the length of PQ. Mm, under root L1 square plus L2 square. Right. So option C is correct. Option C is correct for this question. <clears throat> now let's take the next question. Question number four. It is saying if a chord of contact, if the chord of contact of tangents from a point x1, comma y1 to the circle this touches the circle x minus a square plus y square equal to a square then the locus of x1 and y1 okay so here it is given that this is the circle this is one circle and uh, we are uh, one pair of tangent is drawn from this point q uh, from this point p okay so, from this point, a pair of tangents is drawn and we are now making, this is the equation of 
means this is the cord of contact which when extended touches the circle this one okay so one more circle we have to draw there uh, one more circle is there okay so this is touching this uh, cord of contact is touching this circle so if you see this is our point p suppose i am taking this point as p okay from a point x1 y1 whose coordinates are basically x1 and y1 so uh, from this point of pair of tangents is drawn and this is our cord of contact this ab ab is our cord of contact uh, and this what is this circle this circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square so ab when extended or ab when produced it touches the circle this one this circle is nothing but this circle is uh, x minus a whole square and plus y square is equal to a square right so this is what it is given so what we need to find we need to find the locus of this p we need to find this locus of p so how can we calculate it we need to find the locus of p okay we can uh, draw uh, or we can say p no what can we do whether writing the equation of ab will be helpful let me uh, try let me uh, write the equation of ab so equation of ab will be basically t equation of ab will be t equal to 0 uh, where x x1 plus y y1 minus a square is equals to 0 okay i have uh, written the equation of ab I have written the equation of AB. This will be our equation of AB. Now, this is the straight line and okay, this is uh, the, what is the center of this second circle? This is A comma X minus A whole square plus Y minus 0 whole square. So, this A comma 0, this is the center of this circle. Okay, so if you see, if you draw the perpendicular from this C on this uh, Cord of contact, it will be 90 degrees. So let me take this point as uh, C P Q. Okay, let me take as uh, Q. So this C Q will be equal to a radius. C Q will be radius uh, of this circle. Radius of this circle is equal to A, right? So this C Q must be equal to A. Now, how to get this C Q? It will be. Uh, a into this means x1 a right plus 0 uh, minus a square upon under root of x1 square plus y1 square and this must be equal to a right so taking this in mod so uh, further on further simplification if you see this will become if I take a comma, it will become x1 minus a is equal to a into x1 square plus y1 square. So we can cancel this a and we can take the square. We can take a square on both sides. So it will be x1 square plus a square minus 2ax1 is equal to x1 square plus y1 square. So this x1 square, this x1 square will be get cancelled out and we are left with y1 square is equal to minus 2ax1 plus a square, right? So this is the, like, this is what we got in terms of x1 and y1. For locus, for locus, what we do? we used to replace this uh, x1 and y1 by x and k. So our equation finally becomes y square equal to minus 2ax plus any constant a square. 
Okay, so this is nothing but if you observe, this is nothing but the equation of a parabola. Y square is equal to 4x. It is of the same form or minus 4x. So this is a parabola. Means the uh, means the uh, equation means the locus of this point P is coming out to be a parabola. So this will be our answer. So option B is correct. Hope this is clear to all. So let's move to the next question. Question number five. <clears throat> it is saying the locus of the midpoints of a chord of the circle x square plus y square equal to 4, which subtends a right angle at the origin. Okay. So, one circle is there. One circle is there. And <clears throat> one chord is there. Okay. So, let me draw this part. Okay. And it is subtaining, this chord is subtaining a right angle at the origin. Right angle at the origin. Okay. So, the center is the origin for this uh, uh, circle. So, this is subtaining. 90 degree here at the origin. Okay. So let me name it. Uh, let me name it as O, which is the uh, origin and which is the center of the circle. The coordinates are 0, 0. Let me call, name it this chord as AB. And this angle AOB is given as 90 degree. This angle AOB is given as 90 degree. This is what it is given in the question itself. And the equation of circle is known to us. This is x square plus y square is equal to 4. Means center is at origin and uh, radius is equal to 2. Radius is equal to 2 for this circle. So this AO will be equal to 2. This OB will also be equal to 2 since this is the radius only. Uh, we have to do one more construction like, like what I will do. I will uh, drop, I will drop a perpendicular from this O on this AB. Okay. So, this will be 90 degree and this will bisect, this, this will bisect this uh, AB. So, let me name it as C. So, this AC must be equal to CB. Now, what we need to find? We need to find the locus of the midpoint. Okay. So, this is the midpoint of the chord. This C is the midpoint of the card. Let me assume it as coordinates as H comma K. We need to find the locus of the midpoint of the card, this card, which is subtaining 90 degree at the origin. So if you observe, if you observe the triangle, the uh, bigger triangle, this triangle AOB, if you observe triangle AOB, uh, so this, <coughs> this is a right angle triangle basically where this uh, uh, 2 e square plus 2 e square is equal to AB square, right? So our AB e square is equal to uh, 4 plus 4, 8. Or uh, from here we can say AB is equal to uh, 4 into 2, means 2 root 2, right? For uh, if you observe in the bigger triangle AOB. Now let's take the smaller circle. Uh, a smaller uh, triangle. Which triangle? Anyone? Uh, OCB. Let's take a uh, triangle OCB. Triangle OCB. I am taking triangle OCB. Here also, if you see, this is also a, a right angle triangle. So here, OC is square. Okay. OC is square plus uh, BC is square. This must be equal to radius chi square. That is 2 square. Okay. And uh, what is unknown here? OC, we don't know OC. BC, we know. BC is half of this AB. Okay. So, let me write it separately. Like, uh, what will be OC? OC is the distance. Okay. So, we can write here. No? OC is H minus 0 chi square. Uh, H square. Plus, 
k minus 0 k square means k square under root, but it is squared. So that under root will be cancelled out. So this will be h square plus k square plus bc square. What will be uh, bc? Uh, bc will be half of ab, right? Half of ab. bc will be half of ab. That is nothing but root 2. So uh, root 2 chi square, that will be 2. And that is equal to 2 chi square. That will be 4. So now replace this h and k by x and y. So we uh, get the locus of uh, the midpoint of this chord as x square plus y square is equals to right. This is the uh, locus of the midpoint of the chord, which is subtaining a 90 degree at the center. So x square plus y square is equal to 2. So option D is correct. Option D is correct for this question. Now let's take this uh, next question, question number six. It is saying the length of the tangents from P whose coordinates are given Q coordinates are given to a circle are uh, root two and root six respectively. Then the length of the tangent from R. So we know length of the tangent is nothing but the under root of the power of circle. This is what we know. Length of tangent is under root of power of that point from where the tangent is drawn. So from P, if you see, if you see from P, so I am writing it as under root of power of point P that is equal to what will be that? Uh, let me assume uh, the equation of circle. Let equation of circle. Let the circle be. Let the circle be general circle. That is x square plus y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c equal to zero. So uh, we will apply here. So under root of uh, means power of point P under root will be given as. Hmm, what is the coordinate of P? That is 1 comma minus 1. So this will be 1 plus uh, 1 plus 2G plus 2G uh, minus 2F and plus C and that is given out to be uh, root 2. Okay. So from here if you see we are getting a 2 plus 2G minus 2F plus C is equal to 2, right? So this 2, 2 will be cancelled. So 2g minus 2f plus c equal to 0. This is one equation what we got. Okay. Now uh, we know the power of this q also. It means length of tangent from q also. That is nothing but under root of power of q point. That will be, we know, we know the coordinates of this q. So this will be a 9 plus 9 plus 6g, right, uh, and plus 6f, plus 6f, uh, plus c, that is equal to root 6. This is given. So this is 18, 18 plus 6f, plus 6g, plus 6f, plus c is equal to 6, right, squaring both sides. So finally, we get 6g plus 6f, plus c is equals to minus 12. So this is our second equation. Now we need to find the length of tangent from R whose coordinates are minus 2 comma minus 7. So this is what we need to find length of tangent from a uh, point R. So this will be nothing but under root of uh, minus 2 is squared like uh, this will be 4 plus 49 and uh, minus 2 into 2g that will be minus 4g <clears throat> then 7 to 14 like uh, that will be minus 14f right minus 14f plus c so this is we need to find out this is what is asked in the question so from equation 1 and 2 if you see So if you see, if you uh, multiply equation 1 by 3, equation 1 by 3 and then plus equation 2, 
I am multiplying equation one by three and I am adding with equation two, this F term will be canceled out. So this will be six G, six G minus six F plus three C equal to zero. And uh, now I will add it with equation two. I will have then six G plus six F plus C equal to zero. So this minus six F plus six F got canceled out. This is equal to 12 G. 12 G and plus, okay, uh, minus 12 is also there in the equation two. So uh, this is not equal to uh, zero. This is equal to minus 12, right? So this is uh, 12 G plus four C equal to minus 12. Okay, six G, six G, 12 G plus four C equal to minus 12. So uh, four, if you take four common, it will be three uh, G plus C equal to minus three. So from here we get uh, G as uh, minus three minus C upon three, right? This is what we got the value of G here. Now, similarly, we uh, find the value of F also in terms of C. So put, uh, put it in the equation one, this value of G. So 2 into G is minus 3 minus C upon 3, 2G minus 2F plus C equal to 0. Okay. So from here, you, uh, we get uh, minus 2, uh, 3 into 3 minus 1. So minus 2, uh, minus 2C upon 3, uh, minus 2F plus C equal to 0. Uh, this is 3, this is minus 6, minus 2c plus 3c is equals to 2f, right? So, uh, c, 3c minus 2c, c minus 6 upon 6 is equal to f. So, this is what we got, f. Means we, uh, we find the value of g and uh, f in terms of c. Now I will put the value of this g and uh, f here. So uh, putting this, we get under root of s r is equal to uh, under under root of four plus forty nine that is fifty three uh, minus four into g g is minus three minus c upon three. Uh, minus 14 into f, f is c minus 6 upon uh, 6 plus c, right? So this will be 53 minus 3 upon 3 means that will be plus 4, right? Minus 3 upon 3 minus 1 into 4, then uh, minus c by 3, that will be plus 4 c by 3. And uh, here we get uh, mm, minus 7c by 3 plus 14, plus 14 and plus c. So here you see uh, 4c by 3 plus c will be uh, 7c by 3 and the, here minus 7c, 3, uh, minus 7c by 3, this whole thing got cancelled out. So we got 53 plus 4, 57. 67, 71. So this power of point with respect to R or we can say uh, length of tangent from R is equal to root of 71. So this is our answer. So option D is correct. Option D is correct for this. Uh, let's move to the next question. Question number seven. It is saying if the angle between the tangents drawn to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 from 0 comma 0 is pi by 2. Okay. Angle between the tangents. So it is like Oh, I am drawing tangent first, then I will put one circle here. <coughs> so 
So if the angle between the tangents drawn to this is our circle, general circle only, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus a equal to 0 from 0, 0. So this is our origin. We are drawing, uh, we have made pair of tangent from origin whose coordinates are 0, 0. Is pi by 2. This angle is given to be, uh, this angle is given to be pi by 2, right? So what we have to identify, then we have to comment on this g square plus f square. Okay, this angle is pi by 2, right? So uh, we can do one thing, we can make, we can, we can do one construction. Okay. What is that construction? So basically, this is our center of the circle. Okay. Whose coordinates are minus g comma minus f. Because it is a uh, general circle only. And uh, this angle will be basically uh, 90 degree. And this angle will be pi by 4. Because this OC will, OC will bisect this angle uh, with the pair of tangents. So if uh, you, you observe here, tan pi by 4 means tan uh, pi by 4 will be equal to, I am taking this point as P. So this will be basically PC upon uh, OP. Okay. This will be PC upon OP. Tan pi by 4 is nothing but 1. So this PC will be equal to OP. Now what is uh, this OP? This OP is the length of tangent from O, length of tangent, okay, and what is this PC? This PC is nothing but radius of the circle. So, uh, we can write here, uh, what is the radius for this circle? This is under root of F square, G square plus F square minus C, and that will be equal to under root, means power of, power of this point origin, with respect to this circle. So uh, all thing will be, all the term will be zero. Only we are left with this C. Now we're squaring this, we got G square plus F square minus C is equal to C, or we can say G square plus F square is equal to 2C, right? So this is our required answer. G square plus F square is equal to 2C. So this option B is correct. <clears throat> now, take this question number 8. It is saying the chords of contact of the pair of tangents drawn from each point on the line this to the circle this passes through a fixed point. Okay. May be confusing, but let me draw it. It will be, uh, it will be easy for you to understand. So uh, this is the circle. Now I will draw a pair of tangents. Okay. A pair of tangents from this point. This point. I'm drawing one pair of tangents. <coughs> this point is lying on this line, right? And we need to... Uh, we have to construct this uh, point point of con uh, sorry chord of contact also. Okay, so let me draw this uh, chord of contact also. And this is what this is what we need to draw. So now let me uh, see here. So what is given? The chord of contact. Uh, let me start from here. This is point P outside the circle. Okay. From here, we have uh, drawn the, drawn a pair of tangents. And this is, this AB is the part of contact. Okay. This is the center of the uh, circle, which is uh, origin basically 0, 0. And the radius of this circle is equal to 1. So this is known to us. Okay. One important thing is that this point P is lying on this line whose equation is 2x plus y 
equal to 4. Okay. This point P is lying on this uh, line segment. 2x plus y equal to 4 or we can say 2x plus y minus 4 equal to 0. So suppose if I am taking the coordinates of P as H, the x coordinate as H, then what will be its y coordinate? Y coordinate will be 4 minus 2h, right? The y coordinate will be 4 minus 2h. Okay. Now, uh, this it is given that this AB, this chord of contact always pass through a fixed point. Actually, this point P will vary, right? This, this point P can be anywhere on this line. If that is the condition, uh, this chord of contact will definitely pass through a fixed point and we need to uh, identify that. Okay, so uh, let me first write the equation of chord of contact. Equation of AB. Let me write it first. So uh, what will be the equation of AB? It will be uh, T equal to 0. That means x, x1. What is the equation of circle? The circle is x square plus y square is equal to 1. Right? So x, x1 plus y, y1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now put x1 and y1 as the coordinates. Uh, so uh, x into what is x1? x1 is h plus uh, y and y1, y1 we can replace it by 4 minus 2h minus 1 equal to 0. So this finally becomes hx uh, plus 4y uh, minus 2hy minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will uh, write it in this way. Uh, this uh, what you say this 4y minus 1 I will group it in this way. I am grouping taking these two terms and I am taking h common from these two terms. So it will be x minus 2y equal to 0. Actually, if you observe, if you observe this, this is nothing but a family of the family of the lines. Means this is a becoming of this is like L1 plus lambda times L2 form. Right? This is uh, representing this form. No. This is the equation of line, this L1 plus lambda L2. So uh, all the lines uh, like passing through uh, the intersection of this L1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to 0 means what is this basically? This is, this is a basically a family of lines, okay, which passes through the intersection of L1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to 0. Hope it is clear now. Like what is this represent? This represent a family of lines, okay, which passes through the intersection of L1 equal to 0 and L2 equal to 0. So what is L1 here? If you see L1, so this will be 4y minus 1 equal to 0. From here we get y equal to 1 by 4. And uh, what is L2 here? L2 here is x minus 2y equal to 0 means x equal to 2y. So 2 into y by 4 that is 1 by 2. So x is coming out to be 1 by 4. So this uh, family of line will always pass through the fixed point that is 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 4. Okay. So uh, this will be the fixed point. That is uh, fixed point 1 comma 2 comma 1 by 4. So this will definitely pass this uh, uh, chord of contacts will definitely pass through this fixed point. If we change the position of P also, this will definitely uh, pass through this fixed point. So option number C is correct. So option C is correct for this uh, question. So uh, I am stopping this exercise uh, here only, uh, like we are done up to this question number eight. Uh, we will take the, uh, we will take further questions in the next video. Okay. We will, I will try to record it as soon as possible. So till then, Tata.
and uh, take care. So I will release one uh, more video uh, for this exercise, this exercise five part two. Okay. So there uh, we will uh, cover the remaining questions of this exercise. So thank you. Thank you all of you.